Hello, I'm John Kneebone and welcome to Mainline Baits Carp Fishing TV where today I've got another how-to video for you where I'm going to show you how to tie the shot on the hook rig. Okay, in the last video we were taking a look at the new quads and it was while I was thinking about how we could show you some rigs to use with them hook baits that I remembered an old rig and one that I think probably most of you have never actually ever heard of and that's the shot on the hook rig. Now it's a very unique rig in the way that it presents the hook bait and how the hook sits very close to the bottom and at a different position to a lot of other rigs and because of that it's got some specific benefits. So what I'll do is we'll switch to the overhead cam, I'll show you how to tie up this rig and then towards the end of the video there'll be some underwater shots and you can see exactly what I'm talking about with how this presentation situates the hook bait. Okay to tie this rig I'm going to use a coated braid to tie the hook link. We've then got one of the pop-up version of our quads for the hook bait and then we've got a size 6 curve hook and then over the eye I'm going to use a pre-made kicker. As always we've got an anti-tangle sleeve that's really going to help us prevent tangles, then a pair of scissors for trimming off all the tag ends, a baiting needle for adding our hook bait and then I've got some small size silicone that we're going to use for positioning the hair off of the hook. You'll also need some bait stops and a lighter as well as some split shot and a pair of pliers to just pinch that split shot into position. Now I'm going to use a soft uncoated braid for attaching the split shot to the hook. If you haven't got any soft braid, what you can do is just use the coated braid that we're using for our hook link, just strip off the outer coating, expose the soft inner and you can use that. I've got some soft braid in my tackle bag so that's what I'm going to use. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take our coated braid and I'm just going to remove some of that outer coating around about 5 inches so we've got a soft section in which we can make our hair. Very simple, just an overhand loop. Take that over itself again. I like to use my baiting needle for these little knots. It just makes it a little bit easier for me. And we just pull that loop through. Very simple, overhand loop knot, just to form a nice hair for attaching the hook bait. And there we go, that's the hair loop complete. So just quickly grab our scissors and just trim off that tag end, got no need for that. There we go. Now we can take one of our quads, I'm using one of the pink ones. I'm just going to push the baiting needle through the side and full length of the quad like so. This is one of the beauties of the quads in that you can mount them onto a hair in lots of different directions, corner to corner, lengthways or widthways. It's down to you. So I've put the quad on there lengthways. And now all I need is a bait stop to go through that loop just to secure that pop up into position. There we go, that's our hook bait attached. It means that we'll be setting the hair at the correct length as we tie the rig and now we can move on. So we can now pull away 12 to 18 inches of the hook link off of the spool. I always find it's best to have plenty to work with. Just trim that away. And now I'm going to take that silicon and I'm just going to trim off a very short section of that small size silicon. There we go. I'll just put that on the palm of my hand and you can see that's only maybe three four mil long that's all we need and that's just going to go onto the hook link like so and we'll be using this silicon to position the hair running away from the hook in exactly the right position so I can now take my hook and just carefully thread that down through the silicon I like to do this at the tag end, right next to the tag end of the hook link. So if I make any mistakes, I could just trim that off and start again. And there you go. That's our hook link running through the silicon. So we can just now pull that hook link down through until our hook bait comes down into position. 
and there we go we're looking to have that hair run away from the silicon and the hook around about opposite the barb of the hook it's not quite right I'm just going to adjust that just a little bit get it absolutely perfect that's it just tweak it through and there we go now you can see that the hair is exiting the hook around about opposite the barb of the hook it's a really good position for your hair so we can now take the tag end of the hook link go back through the eye of the hook and then whip down the hook one two three four five six times take that tag end get a good grip and take that tag end back through the eye of the hook pull everything down tight and there we go we've secured the hook into position on the hook link with a six turn knotless knot and we've just left ourselves round about two to three centimeters of uncoated braid in the hook link and that's just going to give the hook bait a nice bit of movement so now i take the kicker really handy these are these little pre-made kickers this is a size medium and just run that down the hook link and with a size 6 hook that should just go over the eye really easily there we go but it's still nice and snug into position and that's really going to help our hook turn over in the fish's mouth so next we're going to take the anti-tangle sleeve and start to tidy up the other end of the hook link so I'm just going to thread on the anti-tangle sleeve down onto the hook link like so and then now I'm going to tie a figure of eight loop knot at the end of the hook link so it'll be easy to store in a rig box as well as attached to a quick change swivel so I've made a big loop I've taken that back upon itself to create a second loop the first loop is then taken behind that second loop and just take your time here just get a nice pinch grip of both loops so they're in the right place I then take my baiting needle go through that second loop and pull that first loop back through it's a bit fiddly when you start tying this knot but it's well worth practicing because it's super strong so there we go we've made a nice figure of eight loop knot just gonna wet my fingers just to add a little bit of saliva to that knot just so that when we pull it down it will snug down nicely so just take a pulley tool there we go just add that little bit of moisture and we can pull that knot down nice and tight like I say it's super strong give that tag end a nice little pull make sure it's all snug down nicely and we can now take our scissors again trim off the excess we're nearly there now just pull that anti-tangle sleeve up over the knot so it tidies everything up at this end of the rig and like I say also gives us a nice loop for attaching the rig to quick change swivels as well as pinning down in a rig box we can now begin securing the split shot on the hook so we're just going to take some of this soft braid just going to pull off six to eight inches of the braid again it's just better to have plenty to work with and then I'm going to make one big loop about halfway down that piece of braid like so then make a second loop a little bit smaller and then take one tag end back through both loops once then twice and then once I get a hold of that tag end, I can pull them both down. And what we've done there is just create a nice slip knot with a large loop. I'm going to put that loop over the hook like so. And we can just now tighten that down into position around about halfway around the bend of the hook. So just make sure it's nice and tight and there it is like I say halfway around the bend of the hook just want to tighten that down make sure it's really snug 
it will have a little bit of movement and that's fine now we take the split shot this is a number one split shot and then I'm gonna thread both tag ends through the groove of the split shot like so grab the pliers and just squeeze that split shot down so it's nice and tight on those tag ends of braid and you want this nice and tight to the back of the hook I'm a little bit too far away there I want this to be a little bit snug so I'm just going to open the split on the shot again that's it just reposition it so it's nice and tight to the hook pinch down with the pliers again and there we go that's perfect so what we do now is you just trim the tag ends leaving around about a centimeter of braid just so that we can then take the lighter and blob down those two tag ends of braid just gives a little bit of extra security to that split shot holding on and there you go that's the split shot into position on the bend of the hook now when you hook a fish it will slide around the hook so it won't get in the way at all and that offers enough counterbalance for the buoyancy of that pop-up we've also got that kicker into position that's going to help the hook turn so as you can see as i slide that across my hand it turns and pricks into my hand straight away here you can see the unique position of the rig that I mentioned at the start of the video with the split shot on the bend of the hook rather than under the eye the hook is sitting in an upright position it's already in the correct angle for hooking a fish and what's more it's nice and close to the lake bed meaning that your hook bait will still stand out but it's not too obvious if you're fishing over a clear area or perhaps just a little bit of pellet or a PVA bag something like that so that's the shot on the hook rig and another tutorial to help you with your rig presentations. We've covered a stack of rigs now, the chod rig, hinge rig, blowback rig, snowman rig, wafter rigs, PVA bag rigs, all kinds of rigs. So if you are a little bit unsure about what presentation that you want to be using in your fishing situation, if you look down through our videos and our playlists, I'm sure you'll find some videos that'll interest you and teach you a little bit more about how to present your hook baits. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up hit the notification button so you know when our next video is coming out. If you don't yet subscribe to the channel, please hit that subscription button below. We'd really appreciate it. And for more carp fishing videos, I'll leave links to those here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.